Pleased to be joined by head coach Aaron Baton, head coach of the South Plains College Women's Basketball Program. Coach, we are two weeks away from tip-off. Y'all been at it on the court every day, getting after it. Um, you're coming off a season which you advanced to the Elite Eight. Uh, huge wins uh, down the post stretch. Talk about your excitement going in the year, your third year at South Plains, and uh, just uh, how, how ready your team is to get going. Uh, well, I don't know if we're ready or not. It's coming one way or the other. Um, I'm excited. I like the group of kids we got. We've got some returners that played pretty pivotal roles for us last year. We've added some players, one particular with experience, some talented freshmen. So I'm interested to see how we do early. You do bring back some key pieces, uh, specifically Celia. She averaged 12 points a game last year. Uh, how big will she be? You also bring back Martina and a couple other faces, and obviously the name of the game in, in uh, JUCO's recruiting. So uh, you had to re rebuild on that front. Let's talk about your returners and uh, how you'll kind of piece together the newcomers. Well, I, th I think that uh, we have four kids back that played quite a bit last year. Uh, Salia played probably the most, but Victoria played a role for us last year. Matilda played a role for us last year, Martina. So I, I think there's an advantage there to have four kids back that played that much in the bigger games. I think that helps us. Uh, we had a guard from Grayson who's played a lot of basketball for them and Deja Brown. I think she kind of adds a little bit just with her experience. And then we'll, we'll see on the freshman. I, I think we've got some really talented kids there. We'll just see how fast they come along. One thing I notice uh, when you turn in your schedule every year, I look at that non-conference schedule and kind of go, whoa. And uh, you're at it again. You're going to play, uh, obviously, Trinity Valley twice within the first couple of weeks. You'll, see, you'll, you'll face off with Grayson. Um, pretty front-loaded schedule there in non-conference, as you usually do. Talk yeah. about those opening tournaments and um, the, the challenges that, that, well, that await. And obviously, Blen, uh, yeah. we just had a, talk, a Texas top 10 come out. Blen was at the top of that top 10 poll. So uh, I, I think you need to do that early. Um, you know, sometimes we'll sacrifice record a little bit to get better early. Uh, I think it's important for our players to be challenged. Uh, we open the season with four games in five days. I think that's important. And I think after having some experience at the national tournament, you better be able to play four, four games in five days if you want to ultimately end your season the way we all want to end our season. So yeah. we like to challenge them, understand we're going to fall short at times, but I think that helps us when we get into February, when we get into March, because we've been challenged, because we've been put through uh, some adversity early. I think that's important. Right? Last year, we talked about this a couple of weeks ago. Uh, last year, our team was seven and seven. Um, but we had played a, a very difficult non-league schedule. We got into league. Kids are used to playing in those kind of environments and those kind of games. And so we didn't have an adjustment period once we got in the league. We'd already challenged ourselves to the point where we were ready for the league. And I'm hoping that that's kind of the case this year. Yeah. Obviously, when you get rolling, you will be at it full tilt. What is the most difficult part of your job right now, keeping these kids um, kind of refreshed and, and, and at the, the mental level you want them to be, seeing the same faces in practice every day. I know they're ready to get out there. What's the most difficult part of this, this stretch? I, I would say the most difficult thing right now, especially with our new players, is getting them to understand the importance of working towards improving every day. We've got to be better day to day, week to week, month to month. We, we can't take possessions off. We can't have up and down days. We've got to prepare every day because once we do start playing, and this is something that's hard for new players to understand, there aren't a lot of opportunities to practice. I, I mean, I haven't counted, but we usually play 10 to 12 games in the month of November. And if that's the case this year, which it probably is, that there's not many days left to practice. So the preparation, the installation of things we want to do on offense and the things we want to do on defense – has to happen right now. And if you don't come in and do the work every day, it becomes very difficult for us to get the things in that we need to get in and to make the improvement the stride that we need to make. Absolutely. I kind of want to touch back on, on the returners that you do have. 
you play in a league that some would argue is you know one of the toughest leagues in the country they know what that grind is like once you get past that Christmas break how big is that to, to have that recognition and to maybe they can kind of get the other the, the new faces saying hey we're about to get into something that's going to be a gauntlet and how big is that to just have that on your side I, I think that's what we all all of us that are doing this I think we all hope that's what happens uh, every good team every team that wasn't as good last year they all have returners there's very few teams that are clean slate new rosters so you hope that some of the people who've been through it, and now with Martina having gone through it twice, you hope that they're able to convey that message to the new players. But but you never know. Yep. Coach, uh, do you have any final thoughts here? We're, in two weeks, we're going to be uh, full tilt and going at it. Any final thoughts uh, on the season coming up? I, I can't think of anything. I'm just trying to get better. Just yep. trying to get ready for the season and use November and December to get ready for January, February, and March. Absolutely. Coach Baton, thanks for joining us. We look forward to talking to you out the year. Thank you, Coach. Thanks, Joe.